بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم In the name of God as a noun and verb The most merciful God, the bestower of mercy Now before I go on with this surah, I will say that you are bound to uh, learn here some things that will serve as symbolic elements for the pilgrimage, whether or not you could perform the obligatory pilgrimage. O oh men, fear your Lord. Verily the shock of the last hour will be a terrible thing. On the day run ye shall see it. Every woman who giveth suck shall forget which she suckleth, and every Every female which is with young shall cast her burden, and thou shalt see men drunk, yet they shall not be drunk. But the punishment of God will be severe. There is a man who disputeth concerning God without knowledge, and falleth every rebellious devil, against whom it is written that whoever shall take him for his patron, he shall surely seduce him and shall lead him unto the torment of hell. O men, if ye be in doubt concerning the resurrection, he created you of dust of the ground, afterwards of a seed, afterwards of a little congealed blood, afterwards of a tiny, of a piece of flesh, perfectly formed and in, imperfectly formed. Does it say imperfectly formed? That don't make sense. Oh, on form, okay. It's hard sometimes to figure out what's actually part of the translation and what, you know, he leaves off the feminine form or something and you gotta go back and figure out, okay, is this slanted word part of it? Um, so I'm trying to be more direct. That we may that we might make manifest unto you. And we cause that which we please to rest in the wombs until the appointed time. Then we bring you forth infants and afterwards you to attain your age of full strength. And one of you dieth and another of you is postponed to a decrepit age so that he forgetteth whatever he knew. But thou, thou seest the earth dried up and barren, but when we sent down rain thereon, it is put in motion and swelleth and produceth every kind of luxuriant. This, that God is the truth, and that he raiseth the dead to life, and that he is almighty, and the hour will surely come, there is no doubt thereof, and that God will raise again those who are in the graves. There is a man who disputeth concerning God without either knowledge or direction or an enlightening book, proudly turning his side, that he may seduce from the way of God, ignominy him in this world. And on the day of resurrection will we make him taste the torment of burning. This thou sufferest because of that which thy hands have formerly committed. For God is not unjust towards mankind. There are some men who serve God in a wavering manner, standing, as it were, on the verge of true religion. If good befalleth, he resteth satisfied therein. But if any tribulation befalleth him, he turneth himself round with the loss of this world and of the life to come. This is manifest perdition. He will call upon that besides God. There can neither hurt him nor profit him. This is an error remote. He will invoke him. Will sooner be of hurt than of advantage. Such is surely a miserable patron and a miserable companion. But God will introduce the, those who shall believe and do righteous works unto gardens through which rivers flow, for God doth that which he pleaseth. 
whoso thinketh that God will not assist in this world and in the world to come, let him strain a rope towards heaven, then let him put an end to his life and see whether his devices can render that ineffectual for which he was angry. Thus do we set down, being evident signs, for God directeth whom he pleaseth, as to the true believers and those who Judaize, and the Sabians, and the Christians, and the Magians, the, the magicians, the followers, the alleged followers of Zarathustra, there's some deviants, and the idolaters, you know, the misassociators. Verily God shall judge between them on the day of resurrection, for God is witness of all things. And before we say this prostration verse, uh, water and water, is, it, is that the one we're at now? Water and water. Water and water, yep. Um, so 17... Sabein is a broader term than one may think. Anasara goes beyond just Christians. Majus is where we get the word magician from. Hadu goes beyond the Jews. There's more than just Judaism there. Um, and dost thou not perceive that all in the heavens and the earth adore God and the sun and the moon and the stars and the mountains and the trees and the beast and many men? Also, you know. But many are worthy of chastisement. And whomsoever God shall render despicable, there shall be none to honor, for God doth that which he pleaseth. And so it's a list of things that a dawab, a dawab is moving creatures. Alam Taranala Yas Judu La Hu Mafi Samawati Wamafilarde Washam Sual Kamaru Wanujumu Wal Shivalu Washajaru Wadawambu Wakathirum Nanase Wakathirun Hakali Ladambu Waman Yuhinalahu Famalahu Mimokrinalaya Falu Mayasha Prostrating Faith in Mecca. On the seven points, glorifying God. These are two opposite parties who dispute concerning their Lord. And they who believe not shall have the garments of fire fitted unto them. Boiling water shall be poured on their heads. Their bowels shall be dissolved thereby and their skins and they shall with maces of iron so often as they shall endeavor to get out because of the anguish they shall be dragged back into the same and the tormentor shall say unto them taste ye the pain of burning God will introduce those who shall believe and act righteously unto gardens through which rivers flow 
they shall be adorned therein with bracelets of gold and pearls, and their vestures therein will be silk. They are directed unto a good saying, and are directed unto the honorable way. But they who shall disbelieve and obstruct the way of God and hinder men from visiting the holy temple, which we have appointed for a place of worship unto all men, the inhabitants thereof, and the stranger have an equal right. And whosoever shall seek impiously to profane it, we will cause him to taste a grievous torment. And... We see as opposed to whether the actual conception or whether an exception made by bribing judges that this idea of people going to the Muslims land, uh, Muslim majority countries, and this has nothing to do with Islam, that, oh, they're stranger, yes, he's a non-citizen, let's, let's not be fair with him and not, let's not count his testimony and, um, no, nonsense. In Mecca, you know, people have a right to visit Mecca. Whether they live there or not. Whoever shall seek impiously to profane it will cause him to taste a grievous torment. Call to mind when we gave the sight of the house for an abode unto Abraham, saying, Do not associate anything with me, and cleanse my house for those who compass it, and who stand up and who bow down to worship, and proclaim unto the people a solemn pilgrimage. Let them come unto thee. On foot, on an every lean camel, arriving from every distant road, that they may be witnesses of the advantages to them. The, the pilgrimage isn't to Muhammad, if that's where you're getting the idea. Um, and may commemorate the name of God on the appointed days for the brute cattle which he hath bestowed on them, so the day is a sacrifice through the 10th through the 13th of the 12th month. Wherefore, eat thereof, and feed the needy and poor. Afterwards, let them put an end to the neglect of their persons. That also sounds a bit wrong. There are certain things you abstain from during pilgrimage, and that includes even combing your hair and trimming your fingernails. And um, I mean, this was eternal, but 10 days or whatever. And let them pay their vows and compass the ancient house. And let them do. And whoever shall regard the sacred ordinances of God, this will be better for him in the sight of his Lord. All sorts of cattle are allowed you to eat, except what hath been read unto you. But, you know, not read from anybody's prohibitions from the Quran and the teachings of the prophet, that sort of thing, you know. Um, but depart from the admonition of idols and avoid speaking that which is false, being orthodox, correctly believing, in respect to God, associating no other God with him. For whoever associate with God is like that which falleth from heaven, and which the birds snatch away, or a wind bloweth to a far distance. This is so. And whoso maketh valuable offerings unto God, verily they proceed from the piety of hearts. You receive various advantages until a determined time. Then the place of sacrificing them is at the ancient house. Under the professors of every religion have we appointed certain rites, that they may commemorate the name of the God on slaying the brute cattle which have been provided for them. Your God is one God. Wherefore, resign yourselves wholly unto him. And do thou bear good tidings unto those who humble themselves to hearts when mention of, is made of God are struck with fear. Ah, might be a better way to say that. And those who patiently endure that which befalleth them, and who duly perform their prayers, and give alms out of what we have bestowed on them, 
that which we have appointed for you as for sacrifice, we have appointed for you as symbols of your obedience unto God. You may receive other advantages from them. Wherefore, commemorate the name of God over them when you slay them, standing on their feet, disposed in the right order, and when they are fallen down, eat of them, and give therefore unto him who is content and unto him who acteth. And we have given you dominion over them, that you may return us thanks. Their flesh is not accepted of God, neither their blood, but your piety is ac accepted of him. So that sounds a little off, but let's hear it in error. I mean, the translation may imply different things for you, but God accepts the physical form, but that's not what makes an act acceptable. And Allah Yoda Piran Labina Amanu in Malala, you Hindu Kula Kawan in Kapur. So Twenty two thirty eight. There, tidings and the righteous the blessed. Made by God, you will subject and bear good tidings of the righteous, and God will repel. The true believers to God loveth not every perfidious unbeliever and every perfidious ingratitude. God loveth not every perfidious ingratitude. Permission is granted unto those who take arms. that they have been unjustly persecuted. And God is certainly able to assist them who have turned, who have been turned out of their habitations injuriously. Then because they say, our Lord is God. And if God did not repel of some men by others, verily monasteries and churches and synagogues and temples, wherein the name of God is frequently mentioned, would be utterly demolished. And verily Allah will help those who help his cause. Truly Allah is strong and mighty. It's, how does that say? Um, and God is certainly assist him who shall be on his side, for God is strong and mighty. And 39, 40 indicate the protection of both the believers and their houses of worship. Not just the Masajid, but the spiritual oratories and the temples and the retreat centers. So it's not just churches and synagogues that are and temples that are being said it's everybody's house of worship and you'll assist those if we establish them in the earth will observe prayer and give alms and command that which is just and forbid that which is unjust and unto god the end of all things if they accuse thee of imposture consider that before them the people of noah and the tribes of Ad and Thamud, and the people of Abraham, and the people of Lot, and the inhabitants of Madian, accused of imposture. And Moses was also charged with falsehood, and I granted a long respite unto the unbelievers, but afterwards I chastised them. And how different was the change I made? How many cities have we destroyed, which were ungodly? which were ungodly, and which threw in on their roofs, and how many wells 
have been abandoned, and lofty castles. Do they not therefore journey through the land? And have they not hearts to understand with, or ears to hear with? Surely as to these things their eyes are not blind, but the hearts are blind which are in their breast. They will urge thee to hasten to punishment, but God will not fail that which is threatened. And verily one day with thy Lord is as a thousand years of those which ye compute. Unto how many cities have I granted respite, though they were wicked? Yet afterwards I chastised them, and unto men shall they come the last day. Say, O men, verily, I am only a public preacher unto you. Say, O men, verily, I am only a public preacher unto you. And they who believe and do good works shall obtain forgiveness and an honorable provision. So what does this thing about only being a preacher, only being a warner mean? It doesn't mean that Muhammad couldn't enforce once he was chosen ruler over Medina that he couldn't enforce the law. But he wasn't supposed to enforce spiritual law. He warns them about spiritual things, and whether they do it, whether they don't. And they who believe and do good works shall obtain forgiveness and an honorable provision. But those who endeavor to make our signs of none shall be the inhabitants of hell, which we sent no apostle or prophet before thee, but when he read, Satan suggested some error in his reading. And this is people's interpretation. People will throw things in. Um, the story of the first teaching of Surah 53, the prophet didn't say this according to the narrations. It was other people that said this. And it conflicted with the meaning before and after. So people will try to throw in their own bit. Contrary to overthrow that which is in God's book. But so be careful with what you hear of people. Then shall God confirm his signs, for God is knowing and wise, but that he make, may make that which Satan has suggested a temptation unto those whose hearts there is an infirmity, and whose hearts are hardened. For the ungodly are certainly in a wide disagreement, and that they on whom knowledge hath been bestowed may know that this is the truth from thy Lord, and may believe therein, and that their hearts may acquiesce in the same. For God is surely the director of those who believe into the right way. But the infidels will not cease to doubt concerning it, until the hour cometh suddenly upon them, or upon the punishment of a grievous day overtake them. On that day the kingdom shall be God's, he shall judge between them, and they who shall have believed, and shall have wrought, shall have disbelieved, and shall have charged our signs with falsehood. The, those shall suffer a shameful punishment, and to those who shall fled their country for the sake of God's true religion, and afterwards shall have been slain or shall have died. On them God will bestow an excellent provision, and God is the best provider. He will surely introduce them with an introduction with which they shall be well pleased, for God is knowing and gracious. This is so. Whoever shall take vengeance equal to the injury which hath been done him, and shall afterwards be unjustly treated, verily God will unseek, will assist him, for God is merciful and ready to forgive. So there's bounds to that, really. Um, Revelation and narrated spoke, Satan throws something in it, but God establishes it, abolishes that which Satan throws in. Let's 
So we see here that Aleem, Haleem, Aleem, Haleem, all knowing, most forbearing, all pardoning, all forgiving, all seer, all hearer, most high, most great. So it's getting us ready here. Most mercy and more great. Merciful, ready to reveal God caused the night to succeed by day. He caused it the day to succeed the night, for God both heareth and seeth this because God is the truth and because that which they invoke besides him is vanity. And for that, God is the high and the mighty. Dost thou not see that God sendeth down water from heaven unto the earth? And the earth becometh green, for God is gracious and wise, and to him belongeth whatsoever is in the heavens and the earth. For God is self-sufficient, worthy to be praised. Dost thou not see that God has subjected whatever is in the earth to your service, and also the ships which sail in the sea by his command? And he who withholdeth the heaven, that it fall not on the earth, unless by his permission, for God is gracious unto mankind and merciful. It is he who hath given you life, and hereafter will cause you to die. Afterwards, he will gain, again raise you to life. But man is surely ungrateful. Under the professors of every religion, we have appointed certain rites that they may, which they may, which they observe. Let them not therefore dispute with thee concerning this matter, but invite them unto thy Lord, for thou followest the right direction. But if they enter into debate with thee, answer: God well knoweth that which ye do. God will judge between you on the day of resurrection concerning that which wherein you now disagree. Dost thou not know that God knoweth whatever is in heaven and on earth? Verily this is written in the book. This is easy for God with God. They worship besides that God concerning that which he hath sent down no convincing proof. And cert and concerning which they have no knowledge, but the unjust doers shall have none. To assist them, and when our evident signs are rehearsed unto them, thou mayest perceive in the countenances of the unbelievers a disdain. It wanteth little, but that they rush with violence on those who rehearse our signs unto them. Shall I say, shall I declare unto you a worse thing than this? The fire of hell which God hath threatened unto those who believe not it is worse than an unhappy journey. Shall it be thither? O men, a parable is propounded unto you, wherefore hearken unto it. Verily, the idols which ye invoke besides God can never invent, uh, can never create a single fly, although they were all assembled for that purpose. If the fly snatch anything from them, they cannot recover the same from it. Weak is the petitioner and the petitioned. They were surely introducing the introduction and going back here on may have skipped this verse and we will surely introduce them with an introduction when they shall be well pleased for God is knowing and gracious this is so whoever shall take a vengeance equal to injury hath been done as mercy will be because tonight okay yeah I have read that so there are limits to oh well he tortured somebody, he raped somebody, let's try to mimic the torture. There are certain limits to the punishments that one can try to impose on people. There's the thing from that. Weak is a petitioner and the petitioned. They judge not of God according to his due estimation, for God is powerful and mighty. God chooses messengers from among the angels and from among men, for God is he who heareth and seeth. He knoweth that which is before them and that which is behind them. And unto God shall all things return. O true believers, bow down and prostrate yourselves. O ye who have believed, bow down and prostrate yourselves and worship your Lord and 
do good that you may be successful. Okay, that's this is the last verse and you prostrate. Oh, the second to last verse and you prostrate after that. Um O oh, true believers, bow down and prostrate yourselves and worship your Lord and work righteousness that ye may be happy. Okay, I believe that's the last that you may be successful. Ya you aladina manura ka u wat du du wa bu du wa ram pa kum wa fa lu khaira la la kum tu ble hu and glorifying God, prostrating on the seven points of faith. You know, the nose and the forehead. The hands, which that is between the knees and the toes. Now seven areas anyways. You may be successful. And fight in defense of God's true religion. As it behooveth you to fight the set for the same, he hath chosen you, and he hath not imposed on you any difficulty in your religion, you know, any excess difficulty, which he hath given you. The religion of your father Abraham, he hath named you Muslims. What's the exact form of Muslim? I want to get this one right. Al Muslim mean. Yes, al Muslimin. Heretofore, and in this book, that our apostle may be a witness against you at the day of judgment, and that ye may be witness against the rest of mankind. Wherefore, be ye constant at prayer, and give alms, and adhere, f and adhere firmly unto God, and a salat, you know, establish the prayer. The, the ritual prayer and the all, obligatory alms. He is your master, and he is the best master and the best protector.